Hello, welcome back. In in the previous chapter, we discussed about SLA. And SLA is essentially something that you guarantee to your customer that this thing is going to happen. So let's say for example, you want to know, like you know, once your once you have all the results available, if you want to set an SLA criteria and see if this test is confirming to that SLA criteria. So for example, my SLA criteria is something like this, that the quiz transaction, okay. So whenever we are doing quiz, quiz transaction on 50 users for 50 users work, 50 users load should be done in less than 15 seconds, okay. So this is the criteria for the quiz transaction and this is the load criteria and this is the response time. And if for whatever reason, you know, if one of the squeeze transaction is more than 15 seconds, then the SLA will fail. Okay, so how do we know that? So, so this is how you ha how you are going to going to going to create. So, look at this tool called Configure SLA Rules. Click on that, and then a pop-up window is going to come. So here you define the SLA criteria, and let's do a new criteria and go next and here my transaction response time is average which what I my, my goal is make sure that average response time is less than 15 seconds per quiz transaction then go next so here you choose what are transactions that you want to do you can choose everything but for that for the time being for simplicity I'm just taking quiz next and here you give the load criteria what does load criteria means that what load this thing will occur okay so that is why I'm going to give here the load criteria as 50 okay so next and here I need to give what is the transaction response time my transaction response time whatever I'm discussing is like you know if it is less than 50 users I want everything to be happened within say 15 seconds okay and then apply to transactions Okay, and if it's greater than 15, 50, let's make it 20. Okay, we don't have really, you know, for greater than 50, we don't have any data point here, but just give it like that and apply and do next and finish. And you have a criteria right now, SLA criteria, and then when you close it, the analysis, the analysis is going to take this thing and here is your SLA report. Looks like based on the data that whatever we have, we do not meet the SLA criteria. Why? Because one of this transaction which is red is above 15 second. Okay. So therefore, you can say like you know your SLA criteria has failed for this thing. And also like you know that is what you know the load testing sometimes you do to meet a SLA criteria, right? And this thing must be there in your report. Okay, so if you are looking for something related to SLA, then put all those SLA criteria here, and so that we can, we, we, so that the 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 end user can make sense if we are okay to production or not. Thank you.